All right, guys. It is an absolutely, I mean, spectacularly gorgeous, over the top, beautiful day here in the end times in paradise. Bugs in a jar farm. It is a glorious fall day. It is a Friday, October 21st, 2022, I believe. So, uh, all right, guys, your old eco Nazi with not one but two chainsaws. I am double fisted with chainsaws and I am heading out into the woods to do some. Uh, to do some calling this will be uh, one of the single biggest jobs I have ever done since I got bugs in a jar so uh, brother Alistair if you're watching this anytime you're ready to come on down it is ready to begin so uh, so what's going on here guys uh, what I am doing is we're up here in piney woods with, you know, these big ass uh, white pines that these, these white pines were planted. I don't have any idea how old these big white pines are. I'm guessing, I don't know why I'm guessing 40 years old. But anyway, so, you know, all of this used to be cleared and then they came through and planted these big, these white pines. And uh, so what has happened, of course, in the intervening years is that uh, dozens, if not hundreds, of these uh, trees, this is a mixture, I don't know, it's maple, it's uh, be maple, <coughs> beech, I, I don't know what all's in here, a bunch of these weed trees, so... Uh, what's going on is these trees these little trees try to get up through the pine growth and uh, they have nowhere to go they get starved of light they turn into these little bean poles uh, can't find any sunlight and so they die anyway so uh, i'm coming through here and cutting out pretty much every single tree, uh, certainly up to uh, four inches in diameter. Taking out all of these spindly ass little trees, and then we're going to, uh, good Lord, the hauling begins. Then we're gonna haul them off and have the burn pile from hell. So I have personally checked out every one of these trees that I was not going to cut down any tree with a bird's nest. People are telling me that, that all these little songbirds nest and they, I have not found one bird's nest. Now I do, I have found some bird's nests in the larger trees <coughs> that I'm not cutting down. It's these spindly ass little things here. So anyway, let the uh, planet nibbling begin. This is all uh, what Groot did. So once we get all of these out, then I got to continue what Groot started and uh, keep taking out these dead limbs on the white pines. Limb up these trees. It is going to be gorgeous. The uh, third tiny house is on its way uh, we are making progress on the third tiny house here at bugs in a jar farm oh boy <laughs> man only something to do to keep yourself busy from thinking about the collapse of a planet all right but I am back to work back to work each day I'm gonna come up here and uh, go through two tankfuls of fossil fuels on my gas sucking chainsaws and I figure I don't know, five days for the chainsaw, and then we're going to let the dragging begin in earnest. 
Alistair or anyone else listening to this that wants to come drag <laughs> drag sticks there is no shortage of work at Bugs in a Jar Farm so come see me my guys